welcome back to the channel if it is your first time joining us hi anzi thank you for stopping by i do hope you stay and become part of the family so i just wanted the kisses from the sun this morning guys look at me please just look at me okay um yeah so today's video i'm gonna be showing you guys how i achieved this look i used the rubber band method uh to do this twist and i am totally loving it i am totally loving every moment with this hair i will put up the picture of the fiber that i used here and it was actually 12 rand to be honest and the bands that i used i got them from spa and i think you can also get them at pep or even discom so and clicks so yeah i do hope you enjoy this video it is basically me showing you guys how i got this look guys a moment for my skin please please can i just <laughs> i do hope you enjoyed this video guys and um yeah see you on my next video yeah. young z so I'll be making a voiceover for this video and right now we're just putting in the water just to moisturize the hair. You'll notice that I am talking. I did talk but then I just didn't like how the sound came out so I decided to do a voiceover. So right now we're moisturizing, putting the hair juice just to make sure your hair is soft and well prepped. And these are the bands that we're going to be used and since they are rubber you just need to put in the oil and rub it in just to prevent it from breaking your hair just to help it um, slide through your hair when you are using it because we're going to use the, um, the rubber band method usually some people they crochet the hair but because I wanted them to be a bit big and not small um, I decided not to do the crochet method but to just place the, the hair piece in between my hair and you'll see just now. So what you basically need to do is to part your hair um, into sections. If you want them smaller you'll just have to make them um, a bit smaller than I did but I didn't want mine to be too small. So what you do, just basically put your hair into the sections that you want. And now I'm going to use water because my hair was getting a bit dry and I didn't want to braid on dry hair. So just put in the water and rub it in. And to also help you when you are braiding just put in a bit of gel just for a hold and then on the section that you parted you just need to section it again and just make a path in between that section as you can see so that you'll be able to put in your hair piece in between that hair as I said, I didn't want to crochet it because some people, they just tie the hair and then um, crochet the hair in between. But I just didn't want to break my hair because I know my hair is sensitive. So for this, you, you will just um, open a, a section in between your section, as you can see. And then you will take your hair piece and put it in between that section yes so just put it in between and make sure that um, both sides um, they are the same length put it in between and then you will tie both ends basically what you're doing is you are locking in the hair piece guys if you hear um, the sound just outside people started um, cutting the grass so it will disturb a bit but hopefully it will not disturb that. 
so now you are just basically um, tying in you are locking in the the hair piece and then pull it down and twist it is simple as that nothing hectic just like that and what I love about this hair is that you you don't need to pull your hairline and all of that especially some of us our hairlines are the pit but hey we move so yeah Well, basically this is how you do it you just create a section open in between and then you place um, your hair piece tie it in and then you twist very 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 simple So yeah guys, this is the hair done. If you do like it, please give it a thumbs up and see you on my next video. I really do hope you enjoyed because I'm so tired. I'm so flippy tight, but I love how this came out. I love it. Really.